Good day, my name is Matt Perrin and I'm the Director of Transportation for AN Derringer. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about IncoTerms, one of the most important and commonly misunderstood <coughs> terms um, in all of shipping. Why are IncoTerms so important? Well, for three reasons. First of all, they transfer title of the goods from the shipper to the consignee or from the seller to the buyer. They also decide who takes the risk on for certain portions of the transportation, and they also decide who is going to pay what. So today I'm going to talk about two of the most commonly used INCO terms um, in the world right now. And the first one is XWorks, and the second one is Free On Board. You will commonly see XWorks listed as EXW and Free On Board listed as FOB. So what are the difference between the two? Well, all moves have all moves basically have three types of uh, portions to them. They have the pre-carriage, uh, and we'll use this as an import to the United States. So the pre-carriage would be from the shipper, let's say in China, so the shipper in Shanghai to the port of Shanghai would be the pre-carriage. Then the main carriage, which would be the uh, portion where the, sh the goods were on the vessel sailing to the United States, and then the on carriage, which is the delivery to the door and the consignee in the United States. So what does XWorks mean? XWorks means that the buyer is responsible for the the pre-carriage, the main carriage, and the on-carriage, and everything to do with that, including the export customs clearance in the country of origin, everything to do with getting the container on the vessel, all of the charges for the sea freight, all of the charges to get the container off of the vessel, customs clearance, duties, taxes, and the drayage to their door. So anything to do with the container, as soon as the freight is loaded onto the uh, container, everything else is the responsibility of the buyer under XWorks. Why is that important? Well, it's very important because the buyer is going to pay for all of that. And container freight can be quite costly, and you have to make sure that you're managing all of your costs to make sure that you're going to be able to sell your goods at a profit that is acceptable to your organization. <clears throat> what else is important? Well, export customs clearance in certain countries can be quite complex. So using XWorks may or may not be the right term for you depending on the country of origin that you're shipping from. What would be best to use? Well, I think it would be best to know the country you're shipping from and then make a decision by talking to your representative at A.N. Derringer or somebody else who can give you an informed opinion on that. What is FOB or free on board? Free on board is a little bit different than XWorks. Free on board means that the shipper or the seller is responsible to get it over the bow of the ship and onto the, onto the container vessel. And the, these, this particular term goes back to old wooden ship days with sails. So realistically, if the container is being loaded and it gets dropped by the crane and it falls on the ship and it falls over onto the, um, onto the port, that will be the responsibility of the seller. If it falls onto the ship, it's the responsibility of the buyer, which these inco terms are very, very important and very legal. So understanding that would be very, very important. So on free on board, the, the, the shipper and, or seller is responsible to get it on the vessel, and the buyer is responsible for all of the ocean freight, all of the charges <coughs> in the United States, customs clearance, duties, taxes, and to get the drayage to the final port. Um, XWorks typically goes with a place, so it would be XWorks Shanghai um, City. Uh, FOB is typically a port, so it would be FOB Shanghai Port, and those are the differences between that. FOB is also important to know because the shipper is responsible for all export customs clearances in the country of origin. Um, China in particular has some pretty strict um, export regulations and China would be a particular country where you would be best off to buy FOB rather than XWorks. Hopefully this has been a helpful explanation to you. I know it's very quick, but you can always call your representative to Ann Darren to get more information about this at any time. Thank you for listening.